Hi friends, so this is my first time using this little website thing. So I hope that I'm this is still going. But we are going to start out this Google slideshow testifying to the good news of God's grace. And this all happened, um, actually the main event happened on October 17th, 2020 was when the testifying occurred. So we're just going to go through the slideshow. I have some pictures to share with you and it's going to be a good time. So coming up with the idea. In seventh grade at my school, we have three service hours for every quarter of the school year. The most recent ones were due on October 23rd. Sometime in late September, I came up with the idea to buy and deliver some Bibles to people in my area. I went online and found out that I could order 46 Bibles for just under the amount of money I had saved up. I emailed my teacher and she approved my idea. And now it was time to put my plan into action. What to write? I wanted people to know what I was doing so they didn't think I was some creeper leaving things on their doorsteps. I wrote a letter on my laptop telling them who I was and who God was. I also included a short version of my testimony. Then I printed out 46 copies of the letter and decorated 46 envelopes for them to go to, into. So here are some pictures. These are the envelopes that I decorated. All 46 of them took me about two and a half hours. Um, and then I decided I'd include that was um, on the back of all of the letters that was the little pile of sticky things that came off of them buying god's word apparently bibles are not cheap fortunately i was able to find some for four dollars and 24 cents each after tax we ordered 46 bibles and it came in two dollars below the amount of money i had saved and actually it was just under two dollars i think it was like a dollar 36. then they came in the mail they came in the mailbox about five days later in a huge box you guys like it was a really big box. Um, I thought it'd be cool to highlight some verses and bookmark them, so I did that. You can see right here that I have my little sticky tabs. They have all been highlighted, and that's not all 46 of them because I still have some that are like, they would have been over here in the picture that I highlighted 10 or 20 verses in each, and these ones I decided to do two because I wasn't gonna be able to finish by my deadline. Prepping for battle. The day we deliver the Bibles has come. I got in a nice warm dress and I recruited my mom to help me tape the, 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 the. I recruited my mom to help me tape the letters to the Bibles. My heart was pounding as we got ready to go. I was really nervous that like somebody would see us or something doing what we were doing and that they would be like, "What are you doing? Why are you leaving something on our porch?" So these are the Bibles and when they were all done, we were ready to put them into the car. And there is me, very proud of myself, getting ready to tape all the letters on with some pretty flowers in the background. So yeah, at that point you can, can't really tell, but like I was super nervous, really excited though. Delivering. We packed up all the Bibles in the back of my mom's car and headed down to some neighborhoods a few minutes away. We would park the in the car, park the car and take about 10 Bibles, then go drop them off at the houses nearby, and then we'd move to a different area. It took us about three hours, but we did it, and it was so much fun. Unfortunately, I don't have any pictures of when we were delivering. I'm pretty sure we left our phones in the car when we were out there. But this is all of the Bibles packed up in the back of my mom's car. My grandma made some flower arrangements. And so four people got flower arrangements. Ten people got Bibles with about 15 verses in them. And then everyone else just got a Bible with two verses in them. So I don't have any other slides, but I do have a little bit more story to share that I um, included an email address, my business email address in there in the letter for people to contact me if they were interested in something. And so I actually ended up getting two responses out of all the 46 Bibles. And so, you know, it's two, and I know that two of those Bibles are gonna be loved and cherished, but there is more to the story because one of the men that emailed me, one of the, a man emailed me back and he said that he is a Christian and he loves what I was doing and he works at a church and he offered to help me with my ministry if I ever need it. And so that was super sweet. And then one little, like an older lady um, came up and, well, she didn't come up and talk to me. She emailed me and said that she is a very strong Christian and that she loves so much what I was doing. And she said that she wants to um, give me the Bible back that I gave her because she already has one and she feels that somebody else could benefit from it. So actually this weekend, and that would be 
Saturday. So we, on Halloween of this year, we are going to be going down to her house to pick up the Bible. And we're going to visit with her for a little while in masks in her front porch. And so that's going to be so much fun. We're going to come pick up the Bible. And so then we're going to have to decide where we want to take it, who we want to give it to, what we want to do with it. So that is super fun. And so this is one way that I would that I testify to the good news of God's grace. So those Bibles were very cheap. Even if you have five bucks, you could buy one. Um, I live in Washington State, and I'm pretty sure that the sales tax is about 7%, more or less. Um, and so they were originally $3.99 a piece on Amazon. But we got them for like $4.24 each, and so that was really nice. And I had $200 in my savings account, and so I ended up using $198 and like 34 cents or something like that. But it was so worth it. I did spend all of my money on that. Um, so, you know, I had $2 left over. Um, but I don't think that it was about the money for me. I was not sad that I didn't have that money anymore because, you know, I've been thinking about how many, you know, how many books I wanted to buy, um, you know, cute room decorations that I could buy with that money. But instead I chose to um, buy some Bibles and I really hope that I shared God's word with some people on that day. Um, and I just think that it was so worth it. So even if you have $5, like you can afford to buy a Bible. And so I'm not saying that you need to spend all your money on a Bible, on buying Bibles or that you even need to do that at all. And so I want to tell you guys about a cheap way that you are able to do this for virtually no money. Um, I have a bunch of note cards in my room. And so I don't know if you guys have any note cards. So that would be really the only place where costs would come into it. But be if you don't have note cards and if you don't have note cards, you could use printer paper. You could use notebook paper. Basically just paper. Like you need paper for this project. Um, and you could write down some verses on the little piece of paper. So like, look, I'm going to take a note card and an orange highlighter and I am going to write John 3 16 blah 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 blah, blah for God's love of the world you give this to people you write a couple of verses out on some paper and that would take up mostly time not money and then just bring them to people in your neighborhood mail them out to people bring them to restaurants or grocery stores but I think that this was a very cool experience for me, one that I'll probably never forget. Um, I did end up in making those part of my service hours. Those were my service hours because um, I ended up spending about seven hours on this project. And when we were finishing our service hours last Friday, I had to write a three paragraph um, reflection paper about um, just the project that I did and like, you know, how... I'm now looking back on it, what I feel when I am, um, you know, like just what I think about and how that experience has changed me, how I prepared for the experience and how it went. And so, you know, just writing that reflection paper was amazing. I really got to like look back on the experience and it was so awesome. And we actually ended up delivering a Bible to someone that we knew, but we didn't know that it was their house. So that was pretty funny that we gave them a Bible and we talked to them and they said, well, now I have 10. So it's like, good for you, dude. You have 10 Bibles now. So you don't have to have money for this. Like you can spend nothing on this if you want to, but it was such a cool experience for me and for my mom who came along with me to help me out with that. So thank you so much to her for helping me with that. And also thank you to my grandma. She let us stop at her house to use the bathroom because she lived in one of the neighborhoods that we were delivering at. So we had so much fun with this project. There are so many ways to testify to the good news of God's grace, but this is just one of the very many ones that you could pick from. So thank you for watching this video. I'm going to have to figure out how to stop this now. So thank you.